Welcome to the Coast to Coast podcast brought to you by Play Picks and the Lines. Coming to you from the West Coast, Josh Lander, joined by Nate Weitzer, holding it down on the East Coast. And we are jumping into our favorite video of the day. It's a fat Wednesday night slate, and we're looking at some player props around the league. Make sure to like and subscribe as we will have a gift card opportunity for you. Tried to get one to you guys yesterday. Everybody danced around the Curry and Kevin Durant total that ended uh, combined points for them at 56. Curry doing the bulk of the work there with 37 Bunch of people had 50, uh, 50, I'm sorry, it was 56 total for them. Bunch of people guessed 57, bunch of people guessed 55. Everybody danced around it, seemed to enjoy that one. Um, but we are going to move that forward here to another player prop that we'll offer you in just a moment. Do need to be liked and subscribed to be eligible to win that gift card. And as always, if you do still need a FanDuel or DraftKings account, head to fdpicks.com or dkpicks.com and find those listings in your area so you can bet on tonight's games. What do we got for them tonight, Nate? For the whole slate tonight, we got a, a ton of games. We got the Pacers minus six at Pistons. We got the Wizards plus one at Hornets. Celtics plus four at Hawks. Got a video up on that one. Pelicans plus eight at Heat. Lakers plus nine and a half at the Bucks. The Cavs also plus nine and a half at Nets. Magic plus 12 at Knicks. Rockets plus three and a half at Thunder. Kings plus two at Wolves. Bulls plus one and a half at Blazers. That's our second game video. And then the Mavericks without Luka plus eight and a half at Phoenix. I'm looking at that Lakers Bucks game first, which I wrote today that I was loving the uh, the over at 215 points. And it's already up five points to 220 and a half because other people also recognize that trend with Chris Middleton coming back tonight from Milwaukee with the Lakers playing at the fastest pace in the league. And, on the road and and continuing to play with plenty of pace without LeBron James, uh, I think we're all expecting a lot of points in this one. Um, but we're not here to talk about totals. We're here to talk about player props. And there is a very exploitable one with Russell Westbrook, who has seen an obvious and predictable spike with LeBron on the bench in nine games without him. 21 points per game. 9.4 rebounds, 8.7 assists per game, and his usage rate jumps from 26 to 31%. Uh, put up huge numbers against Milwaukee last season, 31 points, 15 assists per game. That was when he was getting every touch with the Wizards. Still <clears throat> has a pretty healthy 37% assist rate when he's out there with the Lakers. And Milwaukee has surprisingly been bottom 10 in paint points allowed, bottom 10 in several defensive categories, protecting the rim without Brooke Lopez, who will still not play tonight. I don't think there's going to be a lot of uh, stopping Westbrook from getting to the rim, getting over his prop of 18 and a half points, or his combined 26 and a half points and assists, I think are both well within reach. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I, it was the first person I looked at and continue to look at when uh, when I go to these props. Uh, 18 and a half points stood out as something that was super gettable for him. Um, you know, it's Milwaukee, like we, we mentioned, Chris Middleton back. Not really a big impact uh, on what will happen to Russ. It's really going to be Russ and Drew Holiday um, going at it, I believe, on, on that side of the floor for the Lakers. Um, so, yeah, that doesn't make me feel better about the Russ stats. But, I mean, there's really nobody else doing it for them right now. Uh, and I think we'll continue to see Russ, you know, putting the team uh, attempting to put the team on his back. The problem is he turns the ball over so damn much, right? Him and James Harden this year, number one and two, far and away, number one and two in turnovers. Nobody has uh, close to as many as both of them that are at the top. So that makes you nervous as well, but it's the result of him having the ball in his hand. It's about the usage rate, and it's about the pace that the Lakers are playing at right now, top five in the league, um, you know, especially without LeBron as of late. So yeah, I would say helter-skelter all over the place for these two teams, and that, that means rust ball more than anything. So uh, that's where I would be putting my money as well for that one. Uh, moving on to a game with a guy who is uh, returning for the Wizards, Brad Beal, coming back from a, a quick personal uh, getaway from the team for some uh, reasons that uh, apparently his, his grandmother died. So obviously, you know, condolences to him, but he is back. Um, and something that we're looking at here with him and, and him coming back is maybe a little bit of a refresh. Uh, you know, he's had a pretty good season so far. Um, he, he's played within the system, which has been great for him. So he hasn't quite been the 30 point score or game that we need. Um, but I do think we see him come back tonight with a pretty big vengeance. Um, and so I'm looking at his points and I'm looking at his three pointers made and i'll talk about that in just a sec but first that is our gift card opportunity for today so make sure to like and subscribe to that page jump in the comments and let us know how many points plus three pointers made 
Bradley Beal will have tonight. So if he does have 26 points, makes three threes, that would be 29 is the correct guess. Uh, so make sure you are liked and subscribed to be eligible to win the gift card and let us know what you think uh, for that Brad Beal prop. Myself, I'm going to uh, focus on that three pointers made for him. We both know right now he's not shooting the ball at the greatest clip from three, only about 25, 26% on the season. Um, but as I mentioned, I do like this as a quick little break for him that he can come back and get his mind right a bit. And I think we're both expecting a pretty big game against a, a Hornets team um, that we know is pretty much the worst defensive team in the league. At least they do give up the most points per game at 115 as they've completely sold out on that end of the floor to, to score as well in the top point scorers uh, team in the league. But this is definitely about what they don't do on defense and the pace that these that this team plays at the Charlotte specifically which I think Brad Beal will try to match um, and, and get those points tonight. In his last eight versus the Hornets, he's averaging near 30 points a game, 29 and a half, five and a half boards, six and a half assists. Um, you know, and, and so I think this is another time uh, for, for him to come out and, and hit the threes. I really like the two and a half made threes. If he gets three of those, it's plus 158 on, uh, on your money there at FanDuel. That's why I like that one the best. Um, but, you know, there's a couple other uh, pretty interesting props in there as well. Um, if you do think the Wizards are going to win, 30 points for Mr. Beal and a W is plus 470 on your money. You would also consider that one. Yeah, I'm looking at this as a potential outlier game because of the family tragedy, because of how much it meant to him and, and just coming out and, and potentially going off for like 35 plus points. Um, Beal has been somewhat dormant over the larger samples of the season, but he does have a 30-point game against the Bucks and 36, I believe, against the Celtics. So he can still get it going. Get And, and the Hornets are a, a very easy matchup for him. He's got 40-plus in three of those eight games to, to post those averages. So for him to just get 35-plus points, you don't need to win. It's plus 560. It's worth, it's worth sprinkling on because, again, this is a game where it could be in the margins. He could be... You know, 37, he could be 17 points because he's just not feeling it um, necessarily as he comes back. But, he, you know, I, I like that. And I like I like the idea of the Wizards pulling out this game to get some extra juice on the on the on the bonuses. The Mavericks going up without Luka Doncic into Phoenix, which has won eight straight now. Uh, definitely a tough matchup. Definitely a spot that you you don't necessarily want to count on um, Jalen Brunson replicating the production of Luka Doncic. I was not, I'm not really that interested in his player props against Chris Paul and company. But what you do see is when the Mavs are without Luka recently, um, Tim Hardaway Jr. taking it upon himself to get, to get real chesty, to start gunning. And lately he's been making uh, in his last five games without Luka, he's shooting 45% from three and has 26 points per game um, lately with Luca in the lineup. He's been doing a pretty good job rebounding. Um, and so against the Phoenix team that doesn't necessarily score a ton is still without DeAndre Aiden. So it'd be some good boards available there. I'd, I'd prefer to take his points and rebounds at about even money. Uh, just get over 20 and a half here. And uh, if you do think he can get hot from deep, which he certainly will try to do, he can hit four threes and get you plus 120 on your money there. Uh, he's attempted 25 triples his last three games against Phoenix, and the Suns are giving up a good 13 triples at a 35% clip in home games this year. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Uh, this is definitely a, a bit. Of, this is something I could see as a trap game, too. Just just speaking in terms of stars out bets up for the Mavs. Uh, you know, the Suns, as you mentioned, are on a roll. Uh, and and the Mavs really coming out without Luka kind of have nothing to lose. They're definitely not expected to win this game. That, that, that spread started at about five and a half, up to eight and a half in some places and probably still rising. Um, might consider grabbing that if it gets above 10. Um, but as far as the THJ, Tim Hardaway Jr. prop, love that for sure, uh, especially when you see what he's done. It, it's really about when Luka's out, who steps in on offense. Tim Hardaway Jr. doesn't wait for anyone to tell him to shoot. Uh, and then, so he's hoisting those triples at a high rate as well, like you said. So I wish it was two and a half instead of three and a half threes for him. But plus 122 on your money, very good juice for him to hit four threes when he's already attempting eight to nine, uh, especially against this team and without Luka. So uh, lastly, Nate, going to go ahead and look at a game that I don't know we're going to focus on and will impact the standings too much. We got the Thunder and the Rockets. As we know, the Rockets have won one game this season. That was against the Thunder much earlier on. And in that game, 
Christian Wood came out and uh, was incredible. 31 points, 14 boards, uh, you know, and, and actually made four threes in that game as well. So he's who I'm eyeing tonight uh, in his props, specifically his points, 18 and a half points for him. Uh, it gets you, you know, close to even money by minus 110, 118 on your money there on, on FanDuel, um, which, you know, is, is still good enough for me to, to like it at, at that point total. He scored 27 uh, against the Thunder their, t- their previous time out last March um, as well. So it's definitely a matchup that he seems to like a good amount, um, you know, and in his career even versus the Thunder, which, as we know, started on, on the Pistons, uh, 22 points, 10 boards on 62 percent shooting. And that's in seven games right against them. So it's it's been pretty much, uh, you know, the same Thunder team for the last uh, couple seasons. And, and obviously, as we see them tanking and all that. So it's another great opportunity as they're the same team this year uh, for, for Christian Wood to do that, especially without much of a low post presence or any veteran low post presence uh, for the Thunder at this point. Um, you know, the, the rebounds for him is at 10 and a half. That'll always make you nervous. Um, when you got to get 11 boards and, and that the points and rebounds combined is at about 29 and a half. So you'd have to get 30 there. Um, but I would just focus on his points in this one, uh, especially against a Thunder team that does not defend the paint well at all. Yeah, but the Thunder don't really rebound at all, too. And they, they shoot their 29th in shooting. So they're, I think he can get that double double if you think the Rockets could win, which is probably the biggest long shot of this whole equation because they're right. just awful. Um, a double double and a win is plus 265. And for him to just get 15 points, they're not winning without Wood getting at least 15, is plus 210. So don't even mess around with the money line. If you are betting on that tankathon tonight, uh, go ahead and get some extra juice by taking some Christian Wood props in there. For sure. That is all the time that we have on our player props video for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the page so you're eligible to jump in the comments. Let us know Bradley Beal's combined points and three-pointers made tonight, and we'll get a gift card out to whomever is able to guess that correctly. And until we see you next, happy betting.